से पहचान रही है Good morning. Hi guys. Okay, so yesterday we arrived quite late, so we couldn't explore much. So we had food and we went straight to bed because we were so tired from traveling. Um, so today our mission is to explore more of the center. Um, we're quite close to the center, so it's nice that we can just kind of walk there. Um, so a few things on our list are the Blue Mosque, uh, Grand Bazaar, and there's other things I can't remember now. We started our day by having some breakfast near our stay. We then headed off to the Blue Mosque, which is also known as the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. The mosque was constructed between 1609 and 1617 during the rule of Ahmed I, and remains a functioning mosque today. It's a shame that we couldn't see the whole mosque as it was because I've seen in pictures Blue Mosque is really beautiful inside. Um, unfortunately, because of the constructions, there's a lot of things which were hidden. The steps from the Hagia Sophia and Blue Mosque in the heart of the old city is Sultan Ahmad Square. This square was historically a circus used as a sporting center for chariot racing and social gatherings during the Byzantine Empire. Before heading to Hagia Sophia, we had some street food which can be found around the Sultan Ahmad Square. Grilled corn and chocolate pretzel seemed to be a popular option. We then washed us down with some fresh orange juice which was much needed in this weather. The next stop was the Hagia Sophia, a 1500 year old marvel, from being a cathedral to a mosque and eventually a museum. It's domed beautiful told tales of history and cultural shifts. Join us on a journey through time, discovering the rich heritage of this iconic structure. few things to keep in mind when you go to mosques in Turkey is to make sure you have a head covering so for ladies especially i would recommend carrying your own scarf um so you don't have to buy one outside um because you have to cover your head while you're in, at the mosque and also making sure you're wearing something that is knee length or below our next stop was the grand bazaar it's a one stop shop where you can find lots of gold spices beautiful chandeliers traditional turkish souvenirs and many more if you're looking for something to take back home then add this place to your list we then headed off to the basilica cistern basilica cistern is the largest of several hundred ancient cisterns that lie beneath the city of istanbul the cistern located 150 meters southwest of the hagia sophia today it is kept with little water for public access inside the space Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.